Hina says, after divorce, who gets the custody of children? If mother gets it, must the daughters be returned to their father after they reach puberty because of worthy issues for marriage? This is an issue of dispute among scholars in regards to the general concept that governs this. The hadith of the Prophet is crystal clear. The mother after divorce is worthy and is given the priority of custody of her children unless she gets married. Scholars say that if the boy reaches a certain age, whether seven, nine, or whatever, he's given the choice to choose between his mom and dad. But in the beginning, before that, he's with his mother. And his father is obliged to provide for him the shelter, the food, the uh, uh, medication, the education, the whole nine yards. And when the girl is nine years old or seven years old, she's, some scholars, like in the, in the school of thought of Ahmed, says that she's given to her father because she is his honor. And he cares and protects her more than anyone else. Anything that tarnishes her reputation tarnishes his reputation. Unlike boys and men, they can go around and play without anyone talking negative about them. But girls and females are different. The other schools of thought say, no, the same ruling applies. She should stay with her mother because her mother would be able to teach her about purification, menses, etc. until she is married or until different ages, depending on the schools of thought. But the most authentic opinion is that the custody is awarded to the one who takes care of the child. So yes, by default, a two year or three year old must be given to his mom until she remarries. If she doesn't, she keeps him. But if she's not taking care of him, if she's a bad woman, or flirting with other men, not praying, not educating him, not teaching him or her how to pray, not feeding him properly. In this case, she, the, the child is taking away from her and giving to his father in order for him to take care of. And likewise, if the father had the custody of the boy, but he's not taking care of him or not providing for him, he is taken and given to the uh, uh, the mother. Once the boy reaches puberty, then the custody is no longer existing. He chooses to live with either one or he can move out and live alone. He's a boy. He's a man. As for the girl, she cannot live separately. She must and she must be forced to live with her parents. And this is the Islamic ruling. So at the end of the day, it is up to the Muslim judge. He's the one authorized to look at which is the best for the child. So, for example, if we have a couple who got a divorce and the mother wants to live in Europe or elsewhere, while the father is living in a, in a Muslim country, the judge awards the custody to the man, to the husband, to the father, because the well-being of the child is to be in a Muslim country and not to go to a Kafir country and live there. And Allah Azza wa knows best.